Okay, we'll start off by selecting all the elements on our, on our A2 document, like so. And we're going to copy them by using Control C on Mac, on Windows, sorry, or Command C on Mac. Now we'll go up to Home and we'll create a new design. Go to Custom Size, make it millimeters. Size of A0 is 841 by 1189 and we'll create that design. Okay, let's click on our document. Let's paste our elements in by using Control V on Windows or Command V on Mac. And we'll make this document a little bit larger so we can see it. Right, make sure you extend your elements past the extremes of the document inches. We'll just position that just a little bit better so it is what it was before. And you see all these elements, oh, apart from that one, they all bleed off the edges of the document. Here we go, now we're all nice and centered. Apart from that. So what we have to do, we have to move that over just a fraction. Now that bleeds off. And see how we've got that little bit of a gap there? Alright, I'm happy with that. We'll save it as a print ready uh, PDF. We'll act, uh, click on crop marks and bleed. Go to download. And we'll open it up. Now you'll see that our document has crop marks and bleed. Everything bleeds off. So when we get when the printer goes to trim, trim through the trim marks, they'll have this white uh, extra part of the element outside the trim. So if I open this up, perfect. Hope this helps.